let's talk about working with cardboard. Do you know what two links pinned together is? It's a mechanism, sort of like a pair of scissors. What happens if you put three links together and pin them? Well, you get a triangle. And this is one of the strongest structures in building. In fact, if you go into the attic of a house, you will probably see a structure similar like this. It's called a truss structure, which is used to support the roof of your house. And it's comprised of triangles. Now, three is better than two for a structure. What if I put four links together and pin them? Well, then I get something that looks like a square, except that, well, these pin joints can't support any load. So, for structural support and strength, there's nothing quite like triangles. Now, you can incorporate these lots of different ways. Here, our surfboat design that we came up with incorporated cardboard tube trusses. So basically, a thicker version of this wood truss. Now, the key thing to note is that for cardboard, a fold acts a lot like a pin joint. So if I inadvertently come up with another bend in a side of my cardboard, now I got a mechanism just like this. But I can still salvage the truss if I can turn it around so that the straight sides of cardboard are carrying the load. Now, is it worth including triangles and trusses in your cardboard boat design? Maybe. I'm going to cut to another video where I'm going to show you a strength test where I used a simple Amazon box and tried standing on it, and then I used a cardboard truss. So, we're going to do a strength test on a plain Amazon A1 box. It's empty. I've just taped it together. And my cardboard truss. That's going to be my second test. So, what do you think? Will this simple box support my weight? Let's try. Here goes. Whoa! Clearly not. So, the Amazon A1 box... Did not support my weight. Okay, so now we've got a cardboard tube truss. Three trusses taped together. What do you think? Will this support my weight? Corrugated cardboard made into a truss structure. Let's try. Ready? Steady? Go. Oh, there we are. And it survived it. A little bit of buckling there, but it carried my weight. And that's the power of triangles. Okay, so that was pretty impressive, right? You could see this truss was buckling just a little bit, but there was still enough structure here to carry the load. So that's the power of the cardboard truss, of corrugated cardboard and cardboard trusses. Now, to make a boat out of this, we need to waterproof it. And that can be done with a simple grocery bag or garbage bag, or you can use plastic tablecloths or plastic sheeting. For a cardboard boat race, we had a supply of cardboard boxes, moving boxes, a couple rolls of duct tape, and three plastic tablecloths per team. Everybody got the same supplies. What made our boat unsinkable was we carried the volume that we needed to displace in water in a very strong base that was easy to waterproof. Now, this isn't going to be the optimum design for every challenge, but it was a really good design for our race challenge. It was unsinkable. What will you come up with? There are so many configurations you can try if you have the creativity and the time to test them out.